Did Wilfred Rosario do what Mike Walker and Lucius Palmer were unable to do? Andre Bishop now 2-0 in his career. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside here at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans to see if the young upstart can make it three in a row. Bishop. His adversary. Here we go, round number one, scheduled for six. Rosario's got it all in front of him right now, standing opposite a guy who can leapfrog him into success. If he's able to... Did you see that? He goes down thanks to a swarming attack. He got caught up in a picture blade there. One, two, three, four, five. Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's gonna have to grab on. Kill a little time. And yet another big shot comes in. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Wow! Rosario's unable to continue. This fight is over. Knockout. I kept winning fights. I got people's attention. My father told me to find out what it will take to make a change of mind about working with us. It's easy. Yeah? Yeah. All you gotta do is change Gus's mind. What's that all? <laughs> you don't have a say in this? Sure I do. Say, Gus, I'm a manager. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to change Gus's mind. Good luck with that. Thanks. Oh, by the way, I was by Keyshawn Hayes' camp the other day. His trainer thinks you're a sucker for the left hook. Keyshawn says he's dropping you. Yeah? Well, Keyshawn Hayes entitled his own opinion, is Will Keyshawn Hayes be able to stop the Andre Bishop Express? Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We welcome you to Atlantic City's Boardwalk Hall to see if Bishop can move his mark to 4-0 as he faces Keyshawn Hayes. And he's up on across the ring by way of Newark, Keyshawn rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. This guy's got a mean left hook. He's going to try and catch you with it early. Yeah, I heard about that. I want to see that. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Hayes has been hurt. Oh, he there it is. Menacing midsection shot there. Down he goes. Hayes 
Ortiz is back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. That's what Andre Bishop wants to do right there, land the right hand. Way to block there. Bishop's able to land a good, solid left hand. Is there any advice that you can give in a matchup like this of speed versus speed where maybe one guy can go and utilize a completely different tool like try to be a power puncher on a given night or do something ultra defensive? And bang and away he goes. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. Bishop beats the count, but how does he look to you? He looks like a guy who's wondering what happened, and that's where the job of the corner comes in when he gets back to the corner. Tell him why he got hit. Hayes is feeling the impact of that powerful hook. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. And all of a sudden, the tables turn. Hayes is big, big shot he just scored with. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? Hayes is going to have to pull himself together here. Now he beat the Wow. And that's it. What a way to end the night with a knockout. You saw it coming. Problem is, he didn't see it. To cap it all, we send it up to the ring. Well, throughout the night, we were following Teddy's scorecard, and Teddy, you had him up. You felt he was in control. Now he leaves no doubt. Bishop's your winner by TKO. Well, that's why he got the TKO, Joe, because he was in control. He was doing the right things, and it led to this. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitor. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights. Brian Kenny back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. We have an update on the career of rising star Andre Bishop. And while he certainly hasn't taken an easy road so far in his career, Bishop is poised to have his coming out party against top 15 middleweight contender Ricardo Alvarez, something virtually unheard of for a prospect with so few pro fights. What's more, the fight will take place in Alvarez's hometown of Chicago, although we can't expect a few fans to make the trip from Philly. What can I do for you, Mr. McQueen? Andre, I have to tell you something about your father. Before he died, he and I agreed to a deal. I was going to get him a title shot and let Gus stay on as manager. Sadly, he never got a chance to tell Gus about it. I'll give you the same deal. Keep Gus as your trainer and manager. I'll promote your fights. Megan's young. She's got other fighters. And think about your brother. What about my brother? Raymond's got talent. Not your kind of talent, but <laughs> he's big. You see how big he is? He could be heavyweight champ someday. Isaac Frost looks unbeatable now. Ah, who knows? Be smart, Andre. Let me take you and Raymond to the top. Look, Mr. McQueen, I don't appreciate you talking about my father or trying to get me to go behind Gus's back. Stay away from my brother and stay away from me. Are we clear? You have no idea who you're fucking with, kid. Oh, good luck with Alvarez. I got a feeling it's not gonna be your night. <laughs>